Welcome to the BR Trucking App Tutorial. If you put your camera on a QR code saying BR Trucking App, and it will link you to our page. Once you've gotten to our link or our page, you need to put this on your home page. The way you need to put it on your home page is the square with the arrow up. Then you are going to find Add to Home Page, rename it to what you would like. Now push the BR Truck app. On the bottom lower left hand corner, it says sign up the green button. So now you're going to create an account. Now that you've put your information in and created your own password, push create. Now you'll be text a S M S code, enter that code here and submit. Read the BR statement, push OK. Now you need to uh, select a company. You need to first call our dispatch to select a company in the drop down. Once that's happened, you should be able to choose a company. I had to choose uh, by two minutes roadways. So now we've cre created a company update. So if you haven't entered a truck or your truck is not found in this list, you're going to have to go to add new truck. So I have added a new truck. For my information, I just put a, a truck number of 12 and I put end after it. You do not have to do that. Truck type end dump, trailer type end dump. And then you need to put the plate number in and the scales need to have the same plate number as you. All the scales are independent and they will auto populate your information when you go across a BR scale. If you go across another scale such as Kramer's or Egg Industries, you need to then add that information as a load. I've put in 24 and a half ton, an email. If you're working for a trucking company, so your boss or whatnot, if you're an ITO, then it would be yours. Um, if uh, you have another truck and just save. So I have added 12 end. Uh, it hasn't refreshed the truck type yet, but it will. And uh, the question of are you working for a broker? I work for by two minutes roadways, so that would be no. If you work for a broker, you would put yes, and then that would prompt you to show what uh, broker you would be working for. Uh, per ton or hourly, if the question is, since you're an end dump, you're going to be per ton. Start shift. So it shows that the end dump, your shift has started. We no longer need you as a end dump or a per ton person to sign in at a time or end your time. So it goes automatically in here. So now we've been updated. I have 12 end up on there. Now my truck type is end up trailer, end up broker. I said none, no, none selected right now. Our log shows that we have no loads done. We're going to go start with Kramer's. Our job numbers this year no longer with hauling to the yards need to have a year in front of it. It'll be just shock, SHKP, or IGH. P and you can start typing it in there and you should be able to find it in the drop down. I'm going to go to new load. We're going to start at Kramer's.
So for our first load, I have put a job number of Shakopee plant, then Kramer's, we're starting at Kramer's, and then we are at Shakopee, we're going to Shakopee, that's the load destination, going to Shakopee, ticket number, three A's, chips, our load time, what we loaded, the amount, and we push save. So this is your summary screen. Here is your last load that you loaded right here. If you need to make any adjustments, just hover over that Shakopee. If you touch the Shakopee, you can see that the information that you just put in there, and if you made a wrong number or not, do an edit here, push save, It'll then show up here again. If everything looks good, wait until you go to your next load. So we're told from Shakopee to go back to Kramer's. New load. Nice thing is that we're going to sh we're doing the same thing again pretty much. So Shakopee, Kramer's, Shakopee. We're going to need a new ticket number and uh, the load time because you're at Kramer's right now should be popping up to about the same time as what your ticket time says. If you forgot to put a ticket in there, please back up the ticket time to correlate with the load time. Note, I overdid the time and it says tonnage is unusual between 10 and 30. So I've just fat fingered it. And so I'm gonna do this and let's say I forget to put something in there. Now I'm gonna save the load. So this red letters come up and it's like, oh, I've forgotten something. Save load. So now the last load that we loaded at Kramer's shows up here. Again, I'm gonna repeat, if you go across the BR scales, if your plate is matching up with that scale, you shouldn't have to enter anything. The nice thing is now uh, we can end shift and we have no sign out time no nothing if you just end shift it says shift ended it goes back to that very first screen that next time you come back to br this is going to show up you're going to answer those questions again we're all done you should get an email also if i haven't mentioned it thank you very much for using the app the nice thing about the app is you don't have to add up your totals Everybody gets a time card. Everybody gets the totals. Your company does. You get it. And it's as easy as that. If you have any troubles, please go to our scale houses. There is a contact under menu. Uh, if you need any help and reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you very much for using this app. Have a great day.